Hey youth, it's Reverend Joel, and I wanted to ask you the faith question this week. So there's this story where a person comes to Jesus, a younger person comes to Jesus and asks, what must I do to have that fullness, abundance of life that you're always talking about? And Jesus responds to that person by saying, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. My question to you kind of has four parts to it. What does it mean to love with our heart? And what does it mean to love with our soul? What does it mean to love with our mind? And what does it mean to love with our strength? How are those four ways of loving unique and different from one another. I'm so interested to hear how y'all think about those four lenses of love. The soul is the connection between this world and the next. So that means loving with your soul means loving things we cannot see physically like God and memories. Loving with your heart means Loving things we can see physically, like family and friends. Loving with your mind means being thoughtful with love and how we use it. And loving with your strength means means um, means taking action to love. I think love is love. It's one thing. It's how you express it and how much you express it in different situations is what makes it special and what defines it. The love for my cat, the love for my mom, the love for my dad, and the love for my God. It's all the same love. It's how much I express it and how I express it is what makes it different. When I think about loving God, when I love him with my heart, it's feeling for him. When I love him with my strength, it's loving him through the tough times. When I love him with my mind, it's, I think about never thinking about bad things about other people and always staying true. And loving him with your soul means pushing through the tough times and still having faith. Last year, we painted a representation of loving with your heart, soul, mind, and strength. For me, I painted the ocean as representing the strength, coming, feeding the mind. And the heart was the sun, which rises and falls and changing the colors of the sky, which I represented as the soul.